Hey Stephen, how you doing, man? I'm I'm well, thank you. You well? Excellent. Excellent. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good for um, eleven weeks in uh, isolation. I'm not doing too badly. I'm not doing too badly. And um, you're in your uh, in your place of place of work in the studio there. I see. Yes. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in my den. So it says uh, it's just the black and silvers go in there, and so yeah, yeah. all the all the toys. <laughs> yeah. And um, how many how many kind of days have you been doing in the studio during during lockdown? Has it been kind of typical weeks or has it been a lot quieter? Uh, yeah, it's certainly been a lot quieter. Um, mm. I I try to get in here as as much as I can really just just for my own noodling. Uh, yeah. Just you know working on stuff, whether it be playing instruments, uh, writing things, or mixing some stuff or just learning new techniques um, yeah 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 but yeah certainly as as far as um you know guests coming around <laughs> and actually uh working <laughs> yeah it's been on the lonely side but uh but that's but that's okay you know um our, our time will come and we can get back and hang out yeah yeah i guess it's been been quite kind of similar for me as well because i, I don't do nearly as much stuff as as, as, as you do in terms of recording but I've been trying to learn more techniques as we've been as the as the weeks have been going by because um things like piano for me you know it's fairly simple to record but things like vocals and guitar and um you know they have very a lot of hidden um gremlins don't they that you you, you don't realize when you start doing them yeah yeah they d well I think to start with on on a, on a really simple level, when when you first record something, yeah, it, it can be sort of uh, oh right, I've got to plug this in here and I've got to get that right. But then you're so pleased that it all works, that yeah. a recording is a successful, you know, and it's and that's great. And I, when people talk to me about sort of demoing stuff up, I I always say you know really don't spend too long on it. Mm. Because if it's just going to be a demo, you're only going to do it all again. So yeah. you know, don't <laughs> don't rattle your brain and getting everything as good as it can be when when it's just going to be replaced. So um, yeah, you, you you tend to find the gremlins the, the further you go and the more important it is. But um, but for pretty much all of them, I, and I hope this is the case for you, are, are, mm. are fairly straightforward, sir. To sort to out do, yeah. or to yeah. remedy, yeah. No, absolutely. And um, yeah, I, I'm probably one of those people that's a little bit guilty sometimes of spending hours, hours and hours on demos. And yeah, you, you are right kind of kind of thing. Um, because basically it's just a, it's just a track for reference, isn't it? That you're going to go and completely redo again. So. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if you're going to demo up a record in order to... Um, pitch for a licensing deal or you know you're wanting to pitch to try and sort of sell it to another artist then yeah you've got to make it as good as you can be because it's yeah it is a the, the classic sort of this is a demonstration of how this song can be but I want to have your voice on it or I want you know something else so yeah if, if you're trying to sell it to someone um then yeah get it as, as good as possible but if it's just yeah a reference for you or uh, a quick memo on your phone i i often find it is it's usually perfectly fine you know if, if you yeah. if you're a singer songwriter and you're on your own then a piano and a vocal or a quick guitar and vocal gets the song across and if 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 the song is reliant on that many other things to make it work then perhaps it needs revisiting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, um, I mean, there, there are loads of songs out there that have got all the bells and whistles, and they're amazing. Um, but you can usually take the bells and whistles off, and it's, yeah, it's still it's still an amazing song. Um, yeah, it 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 comes down to melody, harmony, lyrics. You know, it's th those have got to be there, um, no matter That's, how fancy um, the studio or how fancy the you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I say to people actually when, when I do like co-writing and stuff or or kind of helping out with songs I, 
because someone told it to me when I first started is like if the song can come across on an acoustic guitar or a piano and vocals then you know that it's, it's the basis it might not have all the kind of um all the parts yet but you know it's the basis of basically a good song um and I think um that's that's really interesting kind of to know actually um that from a producer's point of view that that's also kind of can just be enough for you guys as well yeah the the, the song well for, for me personally i mean that they'll i think a lot of producers work very differently to each other um mm. i i'm not the sort of producer that will take someone's song and knock up some electronic beats and then go yeah I, there you go yeah. you know it's i'm i'm probably more on the arranging musical side um and will offer help if if necessary or if if wanted on things like structure uh or structural arrangement as well as musical arrangement and just yeah, I, yeah. Often, I often find just another pair of ears you know just <laughs> to listen to it yeah is, yeah is, is quite often absolutely because as soon as you play something of yours to someone else as soon as it's not only yours and it's safe you know as soon as it's heard by yeah someone, yeah you hear all these other things oh actually i, I need to change that and all oh, right yeah I, I haven't quite got and so sometimes just playing something to someone else um just opens up the door for the artist to sort of double check that they you know they they they're about to record a song that they know inside out and they're really proud of um yeah 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 it has and, to be like that, um, otherwise it's a waste, a waste of time really yeah I, I often find that as well that like, that i've i've been playing a song for like three months or something and i've missed the really basic part of the arrangement that it might be a really quick fix or it might just be you don't need a double chorus there or you do need a double chorus there kind of thing oh hello <laughs> hey, sorry this is this is now my side trying to say hello to Elliot. hello how you doing all right doing an interview. i'll catch up with you in a bit is that all right yeah, nice to see you. You head out, you gotta play. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Like, uh, was it the news uh, news reader that got that got interrupted yeah. with, his, with his kids and his nanny or something? Months ago? It did yeah, and they, they all came in, didn't they? And, uh, yeah, it was like live on, along the floor. <laughs> <laughs> live on BBC or something, but um, yeah, l l we're not live on BBC, so we're we're all, we're, we're all right. This is this is a pretty chill chat. So. Uh, <laughs> So basically what I wanted to kind of do today was just kind of, um, obviously we'll talk a bit about the, the, the track that we've done for um, ANHS, um, Be More Kind, which is out this Friday, the 5th of, uh, 5th of June. It feels good to say that because um, it feels like it's been in the kind of, in the bag for a while and we've, we've not been able yes. to get it out. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, I still can't sort of come to terms with the fact that it's June already. It's, no, I know. Like you say, with I know. Just 11 weeks, it seems like a massive slog, but yet... It does, it does. It's, it's, it does. <laughs> it's June, you know. But, uh, yeah, the, well, the, I, I felt that the, when you say it's sort of, it was in the bag, I, you know, you, you sent me the, your, your piano and vocal mm. uh, that you knocked up, uh, which, is, which is great off the bat, which helps, you know, it, it, like your piano parts all sorted, you, you know, you knew the vocal line, yeah. obviously the song's written already uh, for you, but the the way that you're playing it, it, it came across very, very sort of sure of itself, you know, you knew mm -hmm. what you wanted to happen and how to get it done and, you know, the dynamics were in there, the shape of the song was all there. Um, I think we just added like eight bars for the instrumental and that was a that, that was about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and um, it's that it's those kind of things which it, it's the beauty of of having those another pair of ears and a producer w with experience of of doing this, um, which was which was it's the same when you do your own songs. Yeah, you sometimes miss things like that, and actually when you added in the uh, extra instrumental, it it was great because it actually then it enabled us to really bring more people into the song as well. Um, okay because then we could have a guitar break and, and Tom, Tom Wright played the guitar. It was lovely. And, um, that slide could, stuff is, yeah, it's beautiful. It's lovely. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. um, if you're anything like me, every time, 
every time I got a, a track back, because uh, obviously we, we were on the shared drive, seeing them, um, every time one came in, it was kind of quite exciting to see what people had done. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know if you were doing this, um, where you, you know, you grab the isolated track and then try and mm. put it in a mix or in your, your version. I, I, I can't, I, I forget what you were working on. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and some of them you just listen to in isolation and you're like, wow, this is, you know, this is really special. Or, or you think, oh, I never thought of, of doing that. That's, but that's, you know, that you, you pull the people in that are specialists on what they do and, yeah, you know, you hear it and you go, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's why you go to those people. Um, yeah, some fantastic stuff there. And I was, I was amazed at how, well, particularly the vocals, sat alongside one another without mm, mm. without them hearing, you know, the the vocal sort of arrangements all build up. You know, it was here's the backing track, and you know, you'd you'd yeah. already arranged. He's he's going to sing bits and uh, some ideas of how things could work or people might work together. Um, yeah, and they 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 just they sounded great. Um, and do you know what's what's? And I've been saying this to people that when when they've been asking me about it, do you know what's like a really beautiful accident is is the fact that we have vocals and the way you put it together, it sounds amazing. And we have vocalists harmonising with each other, and I'd never told them to do it. Like they just <laughs> naturally done it. And um, because we were going to have harmony sessions and, and luckily it saved us yep. some time because we had some beautiful pe people's harmonies which they'd either thrown in or they'd sung a different melody which actually ended up being um a harmony for someone else's part um and that was one of the things which was really exciting for me because that changed my vision of the song as well mm. yeah it's 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 lovely to be able to work with um you know the instrumentalists and the vocalists where you can you can just open the door and and you know trust them to do the right thing and to yeah. offer yeah. up their interpretations and their ideas because you know they're good at what they do yeah. <laughs> like, i'm not i'm not a singer i'm not a, a you know a, a guitarist they're going to come up with much better ideas than yeah. say so you know rather than us trying to box everyone into into like all oh, right well yeah you can fit in here but you have to do this and you have to do that yeah 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 and you can just let them do their thing it's yeah it's it's been great i mean it it, it could have been very difficult <laughs> <laughs> it could have gone badly um but the, the people you got on board are, have been brilliant um, and like you say, it's just it's just netted together very smoothly uh, with some with some great ideas. Yeah, yeah, man. So for anyone watching that doesn't know kind of how we've made this song, so basically, I did a demo, um, sent it to Stephen, which was just piano and vocals, I think. Um, you then put down um, a drum track. Um, and we arranged it a little bit, didn't we? Uh, you, you had some arrangement ideas and actually, funnily enough, they all really fitted in with how I saw the song going. So that the way that it went up and came down in the middle and then kind of went up at the end. Um, and then we, well, then we I, had I the... When I, did, well. when I did that drum track initially, because I, I mean, I do, I do a whole bunch of session drumming stuff for all sorts of people and some people yeah. give you you know, a very detailed description of what they want you to do, or they might have yeah. mapped it out on some MIDI drums, or they might have written it out or, or something. Um, whereas you, you were just like, oh, we're going to do this track. Uh, yeah. Here's the piano vocals. Could you put yeah. some drums on it? Um, yeah. So my, my initial thought was, well, I'll put an idea down. I'll send it back to you. And we'll, you know, we'll hash it out from there. It might be that you say, yeah. Actually, I was thinking like the second verse come right back or, you know, mm -hmm. no, it needs to come out the gate blazing or actually, no, this is the wrong feel completely. I wanted it like much calmer because it, it, it has got right. a different, not necessarily a different pace, but a different feel 
than the original. Yeah. Um, and I was, I think I was aware of that. Um, <laughs> partly because <laughs> my, I think my preference is not to cover a track identically as it's already been done before. Same here. Um, yeah. Because the original was probably great. So why, why mess with that? Yeah. Um, but I'm also aware that particularly, you know, it's, it's your project and you, you know, and I've, I've suggested an idea. It could be like, mm-hmm. no, this is not the right thing. <laughs> um, and I, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm used to doing a whole, whole bunch of stuff, throwing out loads of ideas uh, for people to choose from, because if they're not right there with you, yeah. you don't get that immediate idea. And, you know, sometimes on whatever instrument you're playing, as soon as you start jamming some ideas out or just improvising some stuff, you know, within seconds, you can tell that, other, mm. <laughs> you know, if that other person is picking up on it and they're like, yes, this is great. Or if they, mm. um, and of course you don't get that with remote sessions. Um, yeah. And particularly as everyone was working remotely, it's not as if, you know, I could, I could, you know, I could sort of, take a look and be like oh yeah but me and the bass player really mm. get it like oh yeah it, it, you know everyone's doing it completely <laughs> yeah completely yeah on their own. and um and it's a it's a one-to-one then another one-to-one and another one-to-one um which has been it's well it's, it's actually been fine everyone on the project has been brilliant but a, you, you do miss that personal exchange you know a- absolutely in the room you know, absolutely fun. yeah because whereas like if you're in the room you could uh you could say to someone oh maybe try it like this or whatever or maybe leave that bit out when it's remotely it has to go over email or facebook messenger and we've had some people in america some people in germany some people all over the uk so that process is a lot lot a lot slower isn't it um yeah. if, you, if you want to make changes or, or, or get yeah. a point across because yeah, you end up <laughs> recording the whole track just to say is this all right <laughs> and then you get the response yeah yeah it yeah it does it does make the, the process a lot longer um a, a little bit more lonely really uh, a little bit more exposing um yeah but uh that's that's how we've had to operate during this time uh, <laughs> Uh, but it's but it's worked, um, and and everyone's been you know very open and, and, and honest and very professional and and delivered yeah. some great great music. So um, as, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's it's gone really well and pretty easy. <laughs> as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's I, been a, I, a delight. Because w- when I first came to you with the idea, because for me it was an idea which I had, which I was like, right, this is quite a big idea. Um, I'm not quite really sure how to do it because I've I've only ever done probably tracks with two or three musicians in a studio at the same time. Okay. Um, yeah. I've never done anything with more than about four or five musicians. So um, when I when I came to you with the idea, did you think, well, I'm not sure how that's going to work, or or did you think? I th- my original thought I think was putting the instrumental stuff down won't be a problem. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was probably equally alarmed and excited when you told me how many vocalists <laughs> there were. Um, <laughs> yeah. <but it's> just, <laughs> um, just because, you know, if there are other vocalists, it's so important that they kind of work together to, to get things right normally. Um, yeah. But yeah, this... this 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 gamble really paid off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I, I kind of thought, saw it as a this kind of period of lockdown. It's a time to do something with a bit of a gamble because as well because as well we didn't have any other choice really. So it was like let let's just try it. And and I'm so happy because I I did have in the back of my mind a slight fear that I'd be getting files all over the place and you'd be getting files all, all over the place and. And it'll be really hard to, to to merge them together. But actually, probably the hardest thing for me was just just to remind everyone to do videos. I think because um, as we we put together a video of everyone playing, and I think some people did their tracks and 
I'm guilty of it myself. It took me three times to, to do my video because I kept getting it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and um that actually proved harder than but i i was so so happy and, and i think i do work a little bit like that where whereas i get good musicians together and good people that i think can do the job and then i i love to just hear their interpretation of how they they feel the track and how they think it can go and their parts and um that was really exciting for me because you know, not being able to be in the studio, I did think that might be difficult with some musicians. Like, you know, I, I won't really be able to put my ideas across very well, but they all interpreted it so well. Um, and I, I think there's the power of that song as well and the time that we're in. I think it, it people just seem to get it, didn't they? Yeah. And, and that sort of kind of comes back to what we talked about um, at the beginning about you know, a song has to work at its bare bones. Mm. And, and this does straight away. Um, it's, you know, yeah. it's, it's a, a, a great um, song by Frank. Um, and it was very nice to see that he approved uh, before and after he heard it, which is <laughs> just good. Which is great, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it could have, could have been slightly awkward. Yeah, in principle, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, yeah. The 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 song translates really well. Um, yeah, but people have overcome the issues on the technical side of of. Yeah. Some people have never recorded before. Some people yeah. uh, were sending stuff in on their phones. Some had a mic uh, and a computer, but you know it was. All right, yeah, okay, so I'll do that and then this. Yeah. Um, so there's a whole range of experiences um, for everyone, I think. Um, but my hope is that people might have gone through it for the first time or perhaps early stages for some and actually just really enjoyed it and gone, actually, this, this is completely doable and it will open yeah. up an avenue of music that, you know, hopefully they'll, they'll be doing more of. Um, yeah. Obviously, there, there are some artists on the track who's they're very at home, you know, doing a whole bunch of recordings and recording yeah, yeah, themselves yeah. And, and, and that side of things as well. But um, yeah, hopefully it'll be encouraging for a few of the uh, musicians on board to, to do a bit more of this because it's, it is, it's great. I think so. And um, I, I feel like um, some people have said, actually, yeah, they've, they've, had, they've had real fun kind of learning how to remotely record them. And we did have some issues where, where, you know, had to like help people out and stuff and, um, you know, make suggestions and things like that. But it's all been a, a really interesting learning curve. Um, like, like for me as well, um, I was always very comfortable recording piano uh, remotely because I've, I, it's kind of MIDI, so it's quite easy. Uh, but anything else I've always struggled quite a lot with. So learning some new kind of, um, techniques is it's, it's going to benefit everyone really isn't it um going forward and do you do you think on the back of this project um do you think it might open up some more remote possibilities fit for your business or well as a musician i'm i'm very happy you know recording stuff here and sending them out um mm. it's it's always good to see musicians taking on the technology that's available so yeah if you know if if i can if i can have someone on board you know if i can get uh you know, the bass player that, that we want on a project without you know and the artists artist uh or the songwriter doesn't want to be paying you know hundreds of pounds to get them to travel over mm. to come down and to do it in you know or the bass player just thinks well i haven't you know i haven't got two days to to be travelling around and to yeah, go yeah. and a session and then travel to this and that, you know, but they might have a couple hours here, a couple hours there. And if they've got their own rig um, and, they, and they can provide stuff that sounds good, then I don't, I don't really care where it's recorded. Yeah. If it sounds good then. Yeah. It's, it sounds good. <laughs> you know. um, so if, if it enables musicians to be able to work more or uh, more easily, or just from home so they can, you know, see friends and family more without yeah. necessarily, you know, uh, touring obviously is, is, you know, 
it's, it's different. You've got, you've got to be at that at the venue. You've got to be there. Um, yeah. But having said that, we've seen loads more of these online gigs, um, and I can kind of see that continuing a bit. I don't think. I don't think once this is all over, I don't think the online gigs are going to drop off. No, no. I think they'll they'll become less frequent, but they will be probably watched a bit more because they'll be more of an event, won't they? And and people will will. I'm I'm personally probably thinking of maybe doing like one a month or something, um, right. just just make it an event really kind of thing, um, on the back of this time. And and that's another thing which I, I'd never really considered doing much before um, before before the lockdown. Um, and um, lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> It is one of those things. Isn't it? <laughs> it's got the name. It's got yeah, the name. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly, and um, yeah, I'm um, I'm massively happy with the with how this how the songs come out. It's actually come out um, better than I'd ever imagined it would, to be honest. Um, because with all those people working together, it's just created a really nice energy. I think. Um, yeah. And we were able to overcome any obstacles that we did have, which weren't that many actually, were they in the end? No. Um, which uh, which was really nice. And um, I had a little bit of problems on the distribution, but everyone's been amazing. So they managed to bump us up so we can actually release it this this Friday because uh, yeah, fantastic. We obviously want to. We wanted to get it out. We'd 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 already set the pre-save up and everything, and we wanted to get we want it basically what we want to do is get as many people listening to the song so they can then go to the just giving page um and we can make as much kind of money for the nhs as possible really because as, as as great as spotify can be for some people it's it's not gonna rain it's not gonna rain not not gonna rain. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah by all means go and listen on spotify and then yeah. exactly yeah yeah and so i think I think our challenge now is to get people to do both things. And I, I think they will because the video as well, I think is going to be a very kind of like a striking thing. And we'll, and we'll have all the links to just giving and everything. And I'm, I'm going to do another NHS video as well with, with people's um, drawings and, and, and things like that, because as I've had a lot of time, I've been walking around a lot and taking pictures of things that I've seen and um, people have sent me pictures, which, and I wanted to make a real connection with the NHS, like straight to the kind of front line if we can. So um, yeah. I think we're also going to, I'm also going to do a gig for Adam Brooks as well, which um, just, yeah, will yeah. be, will be nice as well. So I've had my fair share of visits in and out of, <laughs> in and out of yeah. Visits. Yeah. And th yeah, they do an, an incredible job. Um, and 99% of it, you know, they don't get, they don't get thanked for. You know, it's it's just they go in there, they do stuff that transforms and saves people's lives, and they go home yeah. and just go on with yeah. their own. You know, they've they've still got their own lives to to deal with. Um, exactly, exactly. And and um, one thing I'm um, hearing a lot now is like obviously with the lockdown coming to an end, um, those exactly like you say that those frontline workers not only have been dealing with extreme conditions but they're actually knackered because it's been you know three three and a half four months of, of that kind of stress on on them so I, I, you know hopefully we at the end of the day all we're doing is making a song and, and trying to make some money but i've had some people come back and say you know even that just helps in a tiny little way because it lifts their spirits a little bit um when they're coming out of lockdown so ho hopefully hopefully that's what the track will try and do and i think yeah. you know that's that's the kind of meaning behind it so hope, hopefully that's what it will kind of do it's it's, it's got a nice rousing feel <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> this comes across it, um, yeah it's been a great it, um, work on. um did it sorry go on. did it did it come out a bit more um rousing than you thought because it certainly did for me um because I, I originally i knew it as a piano thing that i sent across and then i think with the drums I added a real kind of like energy to it and but i reckon it's the the fact that we've got so many voices on there as well give it that kind of yeah. uplifting because it is quite uplifting which i didn't think it would be 
yeah it, it's i think i think the lots of, the lots of voices for me get gives it more of a a bit of a sort of naff term but that sort of community spirit yeah yeah <laughs> yeah there, right. there are yeah. a lot of people involved and a lot of people wanting to do the right thing and to help people out and mm. um and yeah and, and to be more kind i mean that's that's yeah yeah you know that's the message that comes across brilliantly in the song um i think all all the song singers have, have got on board with that um when you said it was you know gonna be a you know we're gonna do this cover and we're gonna you know, it's gonna be a charity single get loads of people on board i don't know whether it's like a sort of slightly sort of cliche thing to make to have that sort of rousing feel but i think if we'd have mm. played it down and just gone oh yeah it's it's a it's a quiet sort of emotive song yeah I think when you when you when you throw that out as a, as a single and try and convince people to be really excited about something like this mm. to go out mm. of their way having it quite energetic kind of helps um yeah rather than people go oh that's nice you know, yeah. if if they feel good about it, having listened to it and and energised by it, it, it does help to to pass it on to recommend, you know, to, to other people and and yeah, like like so, hopefully we'll raise a good a good amount of cash. Yeah, man. Yeah, and yeah, I completely agree. I think I think it has to have that kind of uplifting feel to to suit what we're trying to do with it, doesn't it? And um, uh, when I was entering in the um kind of the, the algorithm stuff on Spotify when we were putting it on there, it was like, is it energetic? And I was like, actually, it is quite energetic. And I, I didn't, um, I never thought it would be, but I was like, yeah, why not? Yeah, it's, it's quite energetic. And um, I don't think I've ever described my music as energetic before. So. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you've opened whole, whole new gateways to your music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But getting, and, um, getting, getting the sort of, rousing upbeat energetic feel to a track that's got a real heart and a strong sentiment to it without it being mm. easy yeah that that was key for me yeah <laughs> i just didn't want to make it all like really sweet and all um but it's it's great it's a it's a it's a brilliantly written song and i think that's that's what comes across you know it's a great yeah, song yeah. and all the musicians have done brilliantly well on it um and yeah hopefully it will be successful in its outcome and and support it's the N nhs charities together isn't it that it's that's it nhs charities together yeah yeah that's it so we're we're hopefully yeah hopefully going to um get it to spread it as far and as wide as we can and um once it's out on friday we'll be able to kind of put it everywhere so we'll uh i'm excited we'll, we'll, to see this video yeah man yeah um these ideas i mean, i feel myself you know playing the track I'm, yeah you know and I've, and I've seen maybe three or four um sort of good chunks of other people's and obviously you've, yeah. you've been putting these little teasers out these sort of like yeah, yeah, yeah. uh but like you said i think you've probably got something up your sleeve for, the, for this video <laughs> so I'm, yeah. I'm intrigued and i'm excited to see it it's it's looking brilliant. Like I, I love the video, and what I'll, actually I probably will share it with all you guys probably tomorrow or at least a couple of days before it comes out. You got it already. Um, got it ready, yeah. So we've we've got it, oh, and cool. um, <laughs> it's uh, it's it's ready to kind of. Uh, I've basically been creating a private link, so we, we've been we've been sending it to the odd kind of TV and things like that and people like that. Um, so yeah, there's a I'll, there's now a private link which I can send you guys of, of the actual video. So um, it's looking great, and uh, the guys at H and &E Media, and, and that's another thing actually I wanted to mention um, the other people behind the scenes of um, of of the song because obviously everyone has done it, um, you know, given their time for for charity, and um, which has been absolutely amazing. And um, the guys at, at Half Ton who mastered it did a yeah. brilliant job. Is it a um, Rogers? That's it. Yeah, yeah. Half done. Yeah. And, um, great guy. Great, great studio. Uh, yeah, the master came back and it was just like, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It. 
Really? And, and what, what I, I, I really like doing when I, when I do stuff is I normally like to work with a, a mastering engineer who's worked with a producer or, or knows that, 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 that producer before. I just feel, I just like that kind of synergy rather than, you know, you get the track and you send it to some random person you've never met before or, or don't know. I just feel like it that always works better for me. Um, so I'm really glad that you could put us in touch with, with half time. He's a good guy. No, the, 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 the whole team down there is, is really great as well. Yeah. And um, I'll, I'll certainly be using them in the future, I think, for anything else that, I, that I'm doing. Um, and obviously the H&E Media, Sam Roper, who did the video, which obviously people will see, um, they came on board, um, the, well, about two weeks ago, I suppose, to do, to do the video. And um, that, that was really good because that kind of takes the, the, the pressure off, off us having to kind of, because otherwise I probably would have had to do the video. And, um, I didn't really want to do that. So. <laughs> yeah, you've just been sat around not doing anything, haven't you? you know? Putting out records, yeah, isn't exactly, it? Yeah. Press record, yeah. upload time to you. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Basically, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah I mean, it's, I think the, being in this lockdown, you know, it reinforces how every stage, how much work goes on yeah. behind the scenes to put out, you know, put out a record. Yeah. Um, you know, ma actually making it is such a <laughs> small part, really, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and obviously for, for, for yourself, obviously there's, there's quite a lot of work to do with the, with, with the making of it. But like we were chatting about when we, when we first chatted about it, it's for, for, for myself and, 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 and yourself and, and the musicians, that is kind of what we're comfortable doing in a way, isn't it? Like, we like we like putting parts down and we like singing and we like you know arranging things whereas the other stuff is not <laughs> it's not so much the all stuff the paperwork that, and the admin and all, the yeah people and, yeah yeah all that stuff is um is not the uh not 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 the stuff that we love doing but again for me it's been a learning curve because i've never put a cover out before never okay yeah, yeah. never um i never really thought about doing a cover and then uh, that's been really interesting because I, I didn't know all the things behind that and what you had to do with that. And but also it's quite nice that it's it's not actually a one of my songs for once. So it's actually nice. It's, it's almost like a it's just, it's just a lovely experience doing a cover. I think um, you, just, you can just, you can slightly sort of step back from it. It being yeah. your own and and you're sort of overprotective and really precious of it and you know don't want anyone to say a, a bad word yeah. about the tiniest detail. Um, but yeah, you, with the cover, you can, you can you can start you know stand back a bit and just enjoy the whole process. Yeah, yeah, definitely, and um, and <laughs> I, I certainly have. Yeah, and and, and luckily it's a great song, <laughs> and um, we're very lucky to have um, John Snodgrass on it because he's. He's played it to Frank, and um, and they're good mates. So um, that was the real, real bit of um, bit of good luck to get John to agree to come on and um, do it because yeah. um, then we were able to have a, like a a link to a link to Frank as well. So um, which was good. I'm glad he approves. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was a bit worried if he didn't. <laughs> but um, luckily, it's all good. So. Um, well, th thank you, Stephen, for coming on. Um, Absolute pleasure. I thought it'd be really nice because we're chatting to musicians, we're, we're putting little videos out there and stuff, and thought it'd be really nice to just come on and, and speak to the man who was behind the scenes, like putting all the clips together and putting all the people's vocals together and and um, it really has, it really has been an absolute pleasure. Um, you know, working again with you and with I mean, there's there's, there's loads of people that. I hadn't worked with before and everyone's been, yeah. been brilliant and it's you know it, it is great to to network even if it's remotely um and the, these videos like you say you, you get to put a face to that person <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> finally um and it, yeah it's 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 been a joy and um i'm delighted that it's it's come out so well so, yeah no thank well, you well for having me so thank you so much and um Tell tell people where they can find you um, and your studio and and kind of 
what whereabouts you're based? I'm uh, based down in Suffolk. Uh, the uh, yeah, it's it's S Mac Studios, uh, just short for McLaughlin. No one could be yeah. bothered to spell all that, so it's, <laughs> it's much easier. Keep it short. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, um, we will certainly be working together again in the future, I'm sure. So uh, I'd love it. Yeah. Look yeah. forward to it, man. And um, thanks for having us. And um, we will all be together online virtually on Friday for the launch. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, Somewhere. <laughs> and, and probably in the bar as, as soon as safely possible. As soon as we're allowed <laughs> to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Cheers, Ellie. Cheers. Take care. Thanks, Bye. Man.